<laughs> okay, let's set that down for a second. We gotta set up the camera here. Let's start today's filming with, oh, let's go with what I was working on with programming the last two weeks. So I ran into some kind of version control issue when it came to setting up IDEs and that was frustrating. I don't know, frustrating is kind of strong. It was just, it was frustrating to hit dead ends multiple times. Man, they designed these chairs not the not the most comfortable, but we're gonna try to film all these videos here this morning in the car before it gets too hot. Cause inside I got some sleeping family. And I'm an I'm an early riser. I like to wake up early. So the version control issues I was running into uh, oh, good morning. At first I I installed Visual Studio. I was gonna work with C Sharp and Xamarin, uh, work with uh to work on mobile apps there because they can be uh, native to both iOS and Android in that environment. And <laughs> as I'm going through a tutorial, because you, you know when you open up a new IDE or, or you're starting a new language, both in my case, let's adjust this a little bit more. Um, it's kind of... It's kind of like Martian when you open it up. Like you open it and you're like, and what do I press now? What do I do? Is this, how can I? So I'm watching a tutorial and they get to a point where they're opening up a, uh, they called it the XAML file, an XML, XAML in this case. Uh, so we're going to call it a XAML file because it's catchy. <laughs> and my, um, my package didn't have a XAML file in it. I went to the same directory. <laughs> it was like root, uh, layout, empty. In my case, on theirs, it had files. I downloaded everything they had. Uh, so it's a little confused. It's like, okay, whatever. I tried uh, out a different tutorial. Uh, huh, how can I start this thing here? And I'm not, I'm not going to just start poking around because every time I do that with complicated software and this is more complicated than I'm used to it's not just your run-of-the-mill IDE where it opens up a blank note page and you just go to town this is like here are those XAML files here is a dot Java file or what have you uh, C sharp anything All right, so and then those have to interact in a certain way for mobile development well, given my understanding of mobile development is about a week old, so I'm I'm in way over my head in a lot of cases. Uh, so Visual Studio wasn't working out, and I I get a little frustrated with that because I'm like, this is what I need to be using so that I can better understand C sharp. So that one day, if I ever delve into the Unity engine, I'll be in a little better place. <sighs> But then I'm looking at jobs in the area, and C Sharp isn't quite as important as, say, Java or even Python. Like people hiring aren't hiring .NET developers as commonly as they are these other languages, uh, platforms, frameworks, what have you. Uh, okay, so that doesn't mean you couldn't get a job using C Sharp or, or with mobile development. And this is a little more compatible with both iOS and Android. Like it's easier to make an app that then gets distributed to both platforms via uh, Visual Studio. But it's a small sacrifice to make to switch to something else. If the something else is something that you can become much more proficient at. If it, how do you say? It's, um, you've got to know when the juice is worth the squeeze. You gotta know when to abandon your efforts and focus elsewhere. Because I don't, A, want to become a jack of all trades, master of none in this realm. I want to have a very strong skill set in X and Y skills. Or just X. It doesn't matter. And then you you add skills and functionality in other areas as well. Like, uh, almost every job I've looked at in my area requires some SQL knowledge. Now, does that mean... I need to be a master of SQL. No. But I should probably understand its syntax just a little bit. A little bit. Like spend a day, make a, a little prototype, understand what I'm looking at when it comes to SQL. Okay. Fair. 
Does that mean I need to spend a month building a database? No, 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 no. Because in that month, I could also build three games in Pygame and <laughs> build a, something or other. Uh, I could build neural networks with Python, get stronger with that. I could focus on Java, which is what I'm doing right now. And I'll explain that in a minute. Um, <laughs> and just have a really strong area have a few other areas that are decent and that you understand, but don't try to become level 10 programmer with all of these different skills at once because you'll, you'll A, burn yourself out because you'll never actually master <laughs> any of them and you'll never, you'll never get to where you want to be. Does that make sense? Right now, the goal is to break into an industry, not to make the next Facebook. Okay get it so the the version did i call it that earlier version control issue i was having it's early i'm still waking up i really appreciate your patience with all this mixed lingo um this version control issue i was having with visual studio like, eh, move away from visual studio for now let's focus more on java java is my native language i'll rehash all my Java knowledge, <laughs> and you know what? Android apps are a market that works. Let's let's just figure out how mobile development works in general. I have such a noob to the noble market, noble market, mobile market. So I need to I need to learn from the ground up, and I need to do it quick. <laughs> so I download Android Studio. And it's amazing. It's amazing. Android Studio, sponsor here. No, there's no sponsor today. I, it's fairly intuitive to use. It's quick and easy to launch. My computer becomes a brick because of its 18 megabytes of RAM being able to handle almost nothing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, a tutorial or two into that, and suddenly I'm, I'm able to make a an app that works. Uh, Java comes back to you really fast, by the way. I don't know if you've ever strayed away from a language before and then come back to it. And it's very different from Python. I spent the last two months in Python. And that's fine. That's fine. So really liking Android Studio and what it's capable of. It made me super excited. Like I could not fall asleep last night because I was just thinking of how every, every project I've got either completed started or not started i could put that into android studio and <laughs> uh, push it out as an app for my own phone oh god it's so cool <laughs> you know when you discover something creative and and it, it, it's, it's it's just a creative outlet and even if you struggle even if you're frustrated you're bashing your head against the wall trying to figure it out it's just it's just fun it's really really fun um uh, so that's what I did yesterday, was make sure that Android Studio was working. And yeah, I've got high hopes for that. A lot of Java jobs in the area. They all require some kind of SQL stuff. A handful of JavaScript uh, positions, not just web-based. No, they're um, mm, GIS. So it um, has to do with maps and locations and... Uh, geospatial coordinates and whatnot. And I, th I thought that was really interesting. One of the one of the APIs for these positions was based in JavaScript. And I'm like, that why is it? Because all these this specific GIS API is is used mostly in browser with uh, maybe in conjuncture with some kind of maps or I I don't know. I mean, obviously with maps, but I I meant like Google Maps. <laughs> um, Really fascinating. Really fascinating. I ultimately, like, as I age, okay, if if I'm 60 years old and I'm looking back on my life, I would love to be involved with the space industry. Ooh. Ooh, I get chills when I think about it. My oldest dream is to be, like, captain of a starship. <laughs> Uh, and then I realized I was living in the 90s and we're like stuck on one planet and whatever. Elon Musk, love you, man. Um, so I would love to be involved in the space industry. Now, 
What does that mean? Is this asteroid mining? What is this, 2055? No, dude, it's 2020. So probably something along the lines of satellites. Space de debris cleanup might become an issue in my lifetime, okay? Uh, launch is huge right now. Launch and return landing of, of rockets. We're, we're working on reusables right now, okay? All very fascinating. So what I'm saying is I regularly surf the job boards at SpaceX and Blue Origins and uh, Boeing until recently. Uh, <laughs> Lockheed Martin. Uh, everyone, just what do these jobs require? X years of experience, whatever. Don't don't look at that. Okay, because that a I don't fulfill it, and b I'm not gonna fulfill it unless I'm getting experience. So who cares what the years of experience are? What are the skills you need for this job? Do I need to know Fortran? Do I, I mean, like, no. The, the majority of jobs that I'm finding in that place are, uh, you know, I don't know off the top of my head because I'm just thinking about my my local area and the local areas, Java, SQL, etc. It's kind of my goal right now. Kind of my goal. It is my goal right now. I'm holding down the IT position. And that's going great. Um, I've got positions available for more IT work. Awesome. And what I want to transition into is the developer side of things. Super doable. I'm human, capable. I have all limbs and all 18 eyes in my head. Like, if I wanted, I could do it. So, cool. Practice. Practice and build stuff and get there. Simple as that. And that's what's going on with the developer career. Okay, birds, they're like fighting against my car. That was awesome. I don't know if you could see that, but I just got to see Battle Royale. Um, let's see, what am I working on right now? Right now, I'm building a stopwatch app. It sounds so lackluster when you say it out loud, but my phone doesn't have a stopwatch anymore after the most recent update. Any app I download has one issue, problem, I don't like, an ad system, whatever. Doesn't make the noise when the alarm goes off. It, whatever it is, <laughs> just want something simple. Want to understand displays, how to dynamically update them with time and uh, as time is tracking. And I want it to be simple. I don't need a button here and here and another button. And then this one has some kind of functionality. That How does this relate to a stopwatch? And why is this setting here? And they, they added a dial and the numbers are a funky font. No. I want it clean. I want two buttons. <laughs> Start, stop, and reset. <laughs> Start and stop are obviously the same button. I, I know how to count. Maybe. Unless you ask my uh, my discreet maths professor in college. Love you, Linhart. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got. I'm just working on some stuff, and, and now I'm in Android Studio, and I love it. Uh, here we go. I'll keep you updated on how the career thing goes, and maybe we can trade notes and inspire each other. So have a great day. Thank you for listening. And I got to start to get hotter again. I got to record these other videos quick before it gets too hot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Many, many hugs to you. Stay safe. Bye.